At the Reserve Bank, one of our main missions is to keep prices stable and inflation steady. To do this, we increase or reduce something called the official cash rate, or OCR, to influence the interest rates banks offer their customers. Whether bank interest rates are high or low affects how much people borrow, save and spend. And the amount of borrowing, saving and spending going on in New Zealand affects prices. But how does the OCR exactly affect interest rates? Banks are like shops, you see. They get their product, which happens to be money, at a wholesale rate. Then they add a margin. It's like buying bananas from a bulk supplier, then marking them up a bit to make a return. The Reserve Bank and retail banks are some of these wholesale suppliers who can influence the rates banks offer their customers. One way the Reserve Bank does this is through what we call the OCR corridor system. Think of the Reserve Bank as the bank's bank. When banks borrow from us, we charge them a wholesale rate, which we set at half a percent over the OCR. This sets an upper limit on rates that banks charge each other, as banks could always come back to the Reserve Bank for a better deal. And when banks deposit money with us, we pay them interest at the OCR. This sets a lower limit on wholesale rates that banks charge each other, again, as banks could always come back to the Reserve Bank for a better deal. This spread between our deposit and lending rates encourages banks to borrow and lend to each other at rates in between the OCR corridor system. But our job doesn't stop there, because wholesale rates can continue to move around due to the supply and demand for cash in the wider system. So the second thing we do to balance this out is to steady the amount of cash in the wider system. This is called the settlement cash system. Picture all the cash in New Zealand's financial system as a large pool of water. The pool has an optimum level where funding costs sit at the OCR. But big government transactions, like tax and pension payments, can cause the water level to change. Too much cash in the system, like after pensions are paid, can reduce banks' funding costs because there is more than enough money to go around. Too little cash, like after tax is collected, can increase bank funding costs because there's less money to call on. The Reserve Bank can fine-tune how much cash is in the pool by injecting and withdrawing cash to keep wholesale rates as close as possible to the OCR. This helps to reduce big swings in the cost of short-term borrowing and lending for banks and their customers. The Reserve Bank's OCR corridor and settlement cash system tools are some of the many influences that can affect short-term rates and the rates banks offer their customers. As for long-term rates, like your fixed mortgage, well, that's less affected by the OCR and more by the economic environment, expectations for future interest rates and developments in global interest rate markets. The Reserve Bank keeps an eye on interest rates to make sure they are in line with the bank's inflation targeting role, which helps to keep prices stable.